Beans are one of the planet's great superfood families. And I tell you what, there's more forms than you can poke a fork at. Now the best news, many of these can be grown in the home garden environment. And that's what I'm about to show you very soon. Here's just a tiny selection, which includes snow peas, sugar snap peas, runners and broad beans, soy products, as well as that breakfast staple, baked beans. Then there's dried beans and lentils, even sprouted mung beans. Health experts reckon we should be eating some of these highly nutritious bean foods every day. I'm down at my local garden centre putting together the things I'll need to get into beans in a big way at home. Now beans and peas come from the same family and virtually all of them can be grown from seed. However, there are some varieties that are available as seedlings. This is an example, it's the fava bean or the broad bean. Now all of these plants pretty much need some sort of support because they're climbers. This is where bamboo stakes are just the shot. And you can actually have quite a bit of fun setting up different sorts of structures. Get a bit creative. You can make a bean teepee by tying off a circle of bamboo stakes at the top. Plant the seeds around the base and as they grow they'll fill in the walls to make a living cubby for kids. Or you could make a wall of beans or peas for that matter with woven lattice of bamboo. The possibilities are endless. Dwarf peas and beans can be grown in pots from seeds. I've used some coir potting mix to fill the pot and then just plant it directly into the mix. Now these plants are so amazingly productive. You could keep a family in supply from just two bowls like this. Right now is the time to get planting, so head on down to your local garden centre for all the goodies that you need. And remember that old saying that beans means fabulous flavour and fibre. Just the thing you need to keep you regular, if you know what I mean.